Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Divinity Original Sin on PC. And I thought... Oh, it's L. I might change it to J, but whatever. It is what it is. I want to do what I can to use PC controls. I know I didn't in the last couple of videos, but... I want to do what I can to get used to them. Well, I'm used to them, it's just... Uh, you know. For those of you who know, you know, if you don't, well... I'm disabled and over time it makes it gets harder for me to use these controls. So, I want to do what I can. Let's go here. go inside. Wrong side. I want to go... Can we not go inside? Yes, we can, actually. Front door. Because that's the... Yeah. Um, what, what quests do we have? Filter completed. That one we can't do, because I don't know what I did wrong, and I really don't care. Marissa of Silver Glen. We're in Silver Glen. We just need to find Marissa. Unless she's somewhere else. So is this Marissa? No. Okay. Danita, a source hunter in Silver Glen. I have traveled mile on top of mile to find help, and now help has, uh, how you say, appeared from skinny vapors. What do you have for us? One handed, okay. What is this? Bless, sturdy. Uh, we don't really need that. Uh, what about this? <clears throat> I mean, it is stronger, but... I already have a fire attack, so I don't really need it. I need to get their strength up for more... For more armor. I don't want to lose movement. I don't want to lose movement. I really don't. Yeah, so she doesn't have anything that I need. Can I sell anything to her? can sell this, this, and this. Barter. Complete. What about, um... Our weapons. Oh, it's okay, so... My story? Well... This is no small tale. I think perhaps you will be more interested in the... How you say it? The short end of stick. The short end of the stick. Immune to fear. Oh, hello. I mean, I do like that. I believe Lawrence. The leader of mining guild, tell my husband and many of other workers to mine deadly ore called Tenibrium. Lawrence knew that this ore caused rot. Charming name, no? Yet ordered the miners to continue. Many men, my Ben among them, become the sickness. 
And now they, how you say, kick down the bucket. But this sickness, it is not normal. It kills swift and terrible, not unlike source. My son Sebi and I travel from our home to find truth. But this has proven not so easy. Hmm. My sweet little Pomargo Visago. My darling Ben. Me got along like... How you say? Uh, peas and ferrets. But huh? he here there is work. Very well paid in mines. Clearing special rock from Silver Mine. So he leaves Sebi and I to come to Silver Glen. We wait with hearts like stones for some months. And one day we see familiar figure moving with strange steps on path toward cottage. We run to meet him and take him into our arms, but he collapses at our touch. We help him inside and set him to rest. But he was in terrible condition. Each mm. hour he grow worse, rot so fast we hardly recognize him after two short days. His, when his father died, Sebi become restless. Being of the age, he joined army and go straight to front line. Though I was nearly old woman, I joined army as healer to be near and look after my boy. There we saw special legionnaire using strange weapon. And this legionnaire soon come to my tent with the same disease that killed Ben. I discovered the tenebrium ore in this weapon. Mm. It was the ore that killed them both. I come to Silver Glen to discover truth, and here I find Lawrence, that arrogant man, conducts his business without apologize to any. Exactly this. Please, Source Hunter, you must help me prove that Lawrence made his workers to mine deadly tenebrium. For your help, I offer blessing from my homeland. Sebi mal successos, mi planto serizarbo kai tormenti via nepo sub giai branco. Translation is difficult, but it means something like, if you fail, I will plant cherry tree and haunt your grandbaby beneath branches. Good luck. I will okay. do my best to give answers, Source Hunter. <coughs> New log entry added. Hello and welcome to our shop. I am the son of the proprietor, Nadia. Please Rage let it. us know how we can help you. Do I need any of those at all for him? I mean, I could get more. Might as well get more. Oh. Yeah, I'll get more. Do 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 Ooh, I can make more potions. Do I have I would I also went ahead and um combined my potions into higher tier forms of potions so that I can eventually get the the highest tier later on once I get more crafting. I need penny bum mushrooms for these. I honestly might do it. I want to do it because, I mean, we're going to need them anyway for later on. Does he have anything else I need? Mortar and pestle? No. Um... I might have some um, penny bum mushrooms in Act 1. I should actually have those in Act 1. Yeah, I think that's all I need from him. You've probably noticed that my mother Nadia and I aren't from around here. No. We traveled rather far from our hometown to plant new roots here in Silver Glen. My father, Ben. His death was somewhat mysterious, and we've traced the puzzle back to this little settlement. My mother will have plenty to say on that subject, if you're interested. All right. 
Do, 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 do. So I need to find Marissa. Do, 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 do. The question is, I don't know if she's in this town or... Which is Kevin? Okay. Or if there's another town not somewhere else. I'm not in the mood for your games. What games, Brady? That's Ruby. Come here, the sweetheart. Oh, if I had a star for every time you brighten my day, I'd have a galaxy in my hand. Let's go in here and see if we can find the person we're looking for and here. There she is, Marissa. Oh, you startled me. <clears throat> Let me c compose myself. Hello, stranger. How can I uh, help you? Oh, m m me? Oh, I'm just the waitress around here, as you can see. My husband, B B Blossius, is a legionnaire currently stationed. At least they don't have that well, distinct on the side of a bridge or one. Better that than reeking of fresh blood. of fresh blood. Do I need to have the will on me? I probably do. Yeah, I probably need to have it on me. Cut! Dart on me! Yeah, I probably need to have it on me. So. Uh. Waypoints. Do I have any white points here? Hold up. Yes, I do. I should. I should have some here. Let's go here just to make sure I do. Yeah, I should have this one, right? If not, then I'll go ahead and get it, because why not? It won't hurt. Then we'll go back and get the mushrooms and the will. And then come back here. Beware of the lost ones out there, won't All right, so there's that one. Toasty. All right. I need North Gate, I believe. No. I need the harbor, not Earthgate. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm the harbor. Yep, harbor. Uh, open this one. That's not it. Pick that one up, okay. And now I need Penny Bum Mushrooms. Pick up those, and then what we do is we... Give the mushrooms on me. <clears throat> and now I want 
this one. Now we can turn this wheel into her, hopefully. If not, then I don't know what else to do for it. I really don't know. Over here, sweet cheeks. Oh, I'm aching to share a moment together. You sound like a, um... Come hither, a, um... Or if I had a, star for every time you a very, very day, easy woman. You sound like an easy woman. Who's asking for a fun time in the bedroom. Who owes her, um, um, who owes her, um, her, um, owner some money. Can't startle me again. <laughs> well, he's Will, but that means he's, oh, look. Cool. I was right about that. Just nice. Alright, let's see what these guys have. Business for you anyway. let's, let's go pay a visit to the local you know who. Oh, I could take you on a ride neither of us would soon forget. <laughs> no, sugar. That's a story for another day, ain't it? Speaking of, yours and mine has hardly begun. What say we get better acquainted upstairs? I've got all kinds of, um... Details to share with you. Hmm, let me get a better look at you, if I can. Let me not, I guess I can't. Oh, go right ahead, sweetheart. Darling, I don't hardly recognize this place no more. Everything's changed since those silly immaculates came into vogue. The miners, they used to spend their last penny on a backwards glance from yours truly. But now, they'd rather pray than play. I just don't understand it. <laughs> they just stand around and praise the so-called goddess all day long. I've no idea who she is, but apparently she gets her kicks from having blood sprayed all over her. Now, I knew a girl once who was into that kind of stuff. Her clients used to call her goddess and mistress too, but there was precious little divine about her. <laughs> in my direction though truth is i'm a wee bit short at the moment waiting for We're a little plan of mine to indeed i do and i'm just itching to take you places you've only ever dreamed of darling <laughs> what's a lousy 250 gold between an adventurer like you and a fine piece of tail like the one i've got in store for you okay she's so either gonna um Do um adult things with us, or oh, that's the spirit, sugar. Oh, gold always puts me in the mood for a little romance. Follow me then, my knight in shining armor. Okay. Are we gonna get laid? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know this game was that kind of... I didn't know this was that kind of game. Am I gonna get laid? Because, um, this better not have any nude in it. And I'm just gonna say that now.
There you are, darling. Shall we get started then? So we shall, sugar. But do please ask your friends over there to give us a bit of privacy first. There you are, darling. So we shall sh <laughs> Okay. There you are, darling. Say yourself. But know that the clock is ticking. There you are, darling. <gasps> Let's do it. But first, I need to know about your preferences, darling. You're in charge tonight, after all. So tell me, which sort best floats your boat? A savage, merciless witch, or a gentle, sensuous nymph? Whisk me away to your grassy glens. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. In need of a gentle hand, are you? Well, I've just the soft and sumptuous knoll in mind for you to rest your weary heads. Why don't we make ourselves comfortable and begin? Once upon a time, the patron goddess of feasting is this really a fancy to the humble spirit of insatiability. Of their union, a nymph, Clydella, was born. The child of parents so expert in flavor and quantity, Clydella's calling was clear. A master cook she became, the finest from ground and gulch to Wimpit Willow. Queens and sultans trembled before her crow's egg crumble. Dukes shed salty, toxic tears upon her sugared lion's wing. Clydella's cooking was beloved, yes, but to none so much as Clydella. Feasts she'd make and feasts she'd eat, licking up three wedding hams in the time it took to count them. More she craved, and more and more, till her clients had little more than crumbs to offer their guests. They'd wail and moan, but Clydella never quite heard them over the sound of her soup. Slurping. They stormed her kitchen, spittle flying, demanding dove roast, parsnip pudding, and pureed warg. But Clydella merely gazed upon them, blithely chewing jerky, and shrugged. Clydella's fame declined as the royals made deals with devils to find feasts as tasty as hers. But she never noticed one way or another. A nymph in her kitchen, frying and feasting, was all she'd ever needed to be. Well, that's the end, darling. I hope it was everything you dreamt of and more. <laughs> I know I have myself a bang up time. Oh, can I just, I don't want to help. Oh, I can't talk to her. Hold up. Well, that was, um. Wallgraf gives you an envious look. It would appear he quite fancied some quality time with pretty Ruby himself. Oh, would you simmer down already? It wasn't what you guys think. So that was, um, a bit different. Can I talk to her again? I guess not. I wonder if I can once she gets back outside for the second story. Ah! Weary face is giving me darling. I never said I was selling anything but a good time. A little tails, always nicer than a little tail. One always goes well in the end, and the other, well, charges triple for that sort of thing. <laughs> this isn't to the second one. Is 
Let's go. Let's go and um, listen to the other one. Why not? It, where's she going? I paid. Come back. Hey. Look at you, sugar. Indeed, I do. Oh, that's the spirit. Okay, I paid. Come on now. Let's go upstairs. I said, I wonder if I can rob her or not. And get the money back. <laughs> I'm not skilled enough. Uh, of course. <laughs> Let's just, why not? I mean... Might as well. It won't hurt. But I want to do it. There you are, darling. Sure. <gasps> Let's do it. But no, I was hoping you'd say that. Not every customer can handle the thrill of a mid-afternoon fright, you know. <laughs> and if I'm any good at this, oh, I'll scare the pants right off you. <laughs> Come. Why not? It was a terribly stormy night. In the tiny hut, a cauldron steamed and bubbled. A figure stood in the corner. Stop it, you here, or I'll box purple nose into the sharp indentation where the hut's walls met. Low muttering burbled through its jagged teeth and bloated lips. A knock, swift and sharp, fell upon the door. Babe Orb, a small voice called. Babe Orb, it's happening, here's time. The figure stood up straight and straightened the long stained apron that hung about its hips. A moment, child, a moment, Babe Orp croaked, hurrying over to the cauldron. She quickly filled two flasks with the swirling violet brew and stuffed them into her pouch. In a flash, she was through the hut's door, flicking two gold coins at the grubby child who scrambled to retrieve them from the dark doorsteps where they fell. The wind whipped Babe Orp's hair, lashing her thick skin with thorns. But the old witch had mind for one fact alone. The counsellor was nearly dead. Uh -oh. After some minutes, she arrived at the edges of town. Working her way into the counsellor's sick room now required stealth, not speed. And so Babe Orp crept, silent as a cat, between alley and square until she came to the doors of his old, silent mansion. It was nearly easy for the witch to sidle in, masked in a simple wallflower charm, and wind her way into the crowded room where the counsellor lay dying. She cradled her flask in her arms, enjoyed their warm sloshing, and awaited the final moment. Soon, she whispering croaked, soon enough the counsellor will be mine. The wailing mourners around her took no notice. And that's the end of chapter one. <laughs> so cutie. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I bet you could use a pipe, couldn't you? A few puffs sure takes the edge off the suspense, done it? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> this has been a pleasure, darling. <laughs> Come find me again, any old time. I like that, that was cool. I mean, for 250 it's cheap enough, why not? And, I mean, we're not hurting for money at all, so, you know, there's that. So now... Just do that. Alright, so what are our questies? The Naked Truth. We met Nadia, the Tell me, sweetie, widow of you a have man. Someone, are you always this hot? 
Okay, so Lawrence, 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 Lawrence. You gotta go and go up here and maybe question Lawrence. Hello again, your grace. Preposterous. What does that foreigner know about the affairs of Silver Glen? You do best to do as I do, my liege, and turn a deaf ear to her insane accusations. <coughs> On behalf of the Mining Guild, I thank you from the bottom of our humble hearts for your assistance in this matter. I hope all's going swimmingly, my liege. Hmm. I mean, that's more armor for her. I might take that one. Eight hundred and ninety, though. And it is more armor. Yeah. No, nope, wrong one. Um. Send to Roderick, and then Hello I can again, your grace. Do this, okay. Book of the Immaculates. And get some money back from him. Awesome. Do 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 all right, so that is now done. We got more armor now, which is nice. Over here, sweet cheeks. Oh, I'm aching to share a moment. Come hither, sweetheart. Oh, if I had a star for every time you brightened my day, I'd have a galaxy in my hand. Hmm, okay. So I guess we can go ahead and try to do You believe in the gods, baby? Cause you're the answer to all my prayers. Let's I try to do the Oh, he wasn't there before. Goblin Mystic. So is this where the mine is, I guess? Over here somewhere? Yeah, it must be. But that's the mine right there. Yeah, that has to be the mine. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. I see those right there. Okay. Okay, game. I see how you are now. Okay. Yeah, yeah I see how you are now. Oh, I see that as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see all of that stuff. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, what are you? Goblin Mystic. Uh, I want to do this. Level 12. A thousand health? Are you serious? What? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is uh this direction, if anything? That's the map edge, okay. Do I have Yeah, I think I've been this way, right? No? 
I don't think I have. Okay. I don't know if I have because. Where's that one at? Oh, it's right there. Okay, yeah. So I think I've been there. Yeah. Because the entrance is right there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And up here was... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. So I've been here, okay. Yeah, I've been here. All right, so let's do a... A save. All right. I want to go check this thing out right here. Let's go over here and check it out. Why not? Stop for death, or it will stop for you. Oblige death now, for it obliges you. Tell me, traveler, do you wish to die? And how will you die, then? Do you wish for a long courtship with the Reaper? Or for a quick and wild affair? Death creeps, tests, nuzzles, withdraws, pursues, torments, and takes you. Okay then. <clears throat> oh, and it's just okay. I see, I see, okay. Stop the death, or it death sends its finest carriage for you. Yet you deign to step inside? An insult, yes, but unhappy guests are so unpleasant. Stop for death, or it will stop for you. And how will you death fly? Does it continue? If I go back, does it pick back up? Stop for death, or it will stop for you. A blood death, sir. Okay, I don't understand that at all. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. But it is what it is, I guess. Who knows? Um, where am I at on a map? Let's go. Okay, this is north. So north is this way. Okay. Let's go. Let's not go to the witch's hut first. Like, at all. Let's just, like, avoid it for now. If we can. Unless we have to go to it. You know, in that general area. 
Let's try going up here. Those? I guess not. Well, oh, crap, what the hell? Press the wrong button. Oh, I want that. I want that chest. Oh, hey, what? Ooh, let's get this first. Ah. There's a button that highlights everything. So world tour tips is, is that. Yeah, why can't it be a toggle? Right, come on now. Is a toggle for for console, but not for PC. Like, I don't understand that at all. That's why I prefer PC control, I mean, Xbox controls, because I can just press and hold and, and done. <sighs> Whatever, it is what it is. Um. Let's see here. What else is there? Let's go. This way. I see you know what? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in the video here. And I will see you guys next time with some more. I'm gonna just go ahead and just switch back to console controls because it is what I'm used to, and I can have the world tool tips as a toggle and not as a press button whenever I want it to be used. So, there's some quality of life features on console versus PC. PC's version is easier for, obviously, the menus, but I still prefer console controls because I'm used to them. I, I just prefer them. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And if you guys don't like it, tough crap. So anyways, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later.